This your boy, Mr. E, coming to you live on BOSS Radio, Boston, the Southside Bosses. Just coming to y'all with another live interview with your boy, Y, straight out of Laredo, Texas. You know how to be getting down out there. Down south, get crazy down there, you heard me. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be having your boy, Y, is coming on. And until then, we're just going to go ahead and play some of this underground hip-hop and this underground R&B and this underground rap. You know how we get down, we play nothing but that hip underground, you know what I'm saying? Straight underground. If, you, if you're really trying to get on... And you try to get an interview on with the BOSS radio, just hit me up at Southside Submissions at gmail.com with two songs, a picture of you and a logo, and we'll get you pumping in this motherfucker. You heard me? I know you heard me. <laughs> so we're going to get it on like that. So right now we're going to go ahead and get this started right now with your boy straight out of Victoria, Texas. Southside Texas is one of my closest homeboys from out there. Your boy Fane Johnson with Summertime here on BOSS Radios. Now y'all enjoy this. Wanna pull up and say what up And drop the top in the summertime Pretty women in the summertime Hit the park in the summertime Keep it lit for the summertime Yeah Hey Wake up, get my cake up, cause I'm trying to floss The first day of summer, I'ma break them out Don't usually sip on drink, but I pull the day The way it fall on ice and make you float away Put some shorts on, it's too hot for jeans Muscle shirt on, I don't need a tee Versace flip flops, that's them foreign chocolates I see candy everywhere, I feel like Willy Wonka Chocolate caramels, even French for letters Build a couple corners, dudes out the roof That's to my fellas Wheels chop like propellers A couple haters jealous Overall we chill, but got the burn for the overtellers Two days in the rays of the sun But he go but I'm feeling like I'm big pun Cause see I'm still not a player with these girls, 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 girls Make me wanna pull up and say what up And drop the top in the summertime Pretty women in the summertime Hit the park in the summertime Keeping it for the summertime, yeah I, the good vibe we feeling Trap clothes and we chilling Tomorrow we be back dealing like, hey Money on our mind It's right back to the grind Today we have a good time like, hey Barbecue and drink, loud packs that stink. No drama on this day, say, hey. Nobody got shot, and the block ain't even hot. We turning up the spot and say, Breathing the rays of the sun. But he go, but I'm feeling like I'm big pun. Cause see, I'm still not a player with these girls, 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 girls. Make me wanna pull up and say, What up? And drop the top in the summertime. Pretty women in the summertime Hit the park in the summertime Keep it lit for the summertime, yeah Fire in my soul, in my soul. They, say they say I got a cold heart, though. Heart, though. Where did you get that calculation? Where did you get that calculation? You're right, I got a lot in me. 
Haters everywhere, everywhere still. Another glaring idiot, not aware of code that I live by. The day hard come by, so we don't see eye to eye. I come from a boulevard where it's very hard to make it from like a rose in the garden made of concrete. That's where it come from. That's what I sprouted from. See me. I like how they get ya, how they get ya, how they get ya. I, I, I made something I out of nothing. Like you don't understand, cause you can't stand. All these feet in front of me, but the right now I'm getting away. He's a monster, he's a monster. He's a monster. The only shit you see, down in the ocean with piranhas. I come from the ocean, to run piranhas, to run sharks. Not took the heart out of each one. I'm bad. I was born in the belly of the beast. Crackheads on the corner, bodies in the streets. Yeah, they sell a boy, born to be deceased. I don't give a damn, nigga, getting out these streets. Yeah. I'm getting out these streets, moving in and out these streets. I've probably seen you, you've probably seen me. You probably seen GBC, we've been in these streets. And in out these streets. Just stack up this chick. Fuck the boy shit. It's the same script, got the boy classics. Yep, it's the same click. I'ma win this ish. Yep, it's the same skit. Got the boy classics. Yep, that's who I came with. Oh, they acting stiff. Nigga, why you frowning? Cause you see your ship is going where? Uh, down, man. Motherfucker, you a hater. It ain't hard to tell. I'm the motherfucking shit. No, it ain't hard to smell. I'm all in ATL. Niggas see me getting rich. Niggas gon' hate. Tell me why they know I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid, been doing this shit since way back when Nigga, I can see that from beneath that fucking grin I'm all in offices, I got some deals to make I gotta make shit Lil' baby, what you doing? I'm getting cake I'm owning real estate I'm on a private plane Baker, Sasha, Hessler, focused on my money, man I was born in the belly of the beast Crackheads on the corner Bodies in the streets yeah, they sell a boy, born to be deceased. I don't give a damn, nigga, getting out these streets. Yeah, I'm getting out these streets, moving in and out these streets. I've probably seen you, you've probably seen me, you've probably seen GBC. We've been in these streets, and in and out these streets. Just stack up this chick. Yeah, it's your boy, Mr. E-O-B-O-S-S, Radio 17 is live right now. We get the boy, Jesus Wall, with no attachment. I'm rolling around with the man, number dang, star static. I'm just thinking about dragging. You know the ones who come with no streets, no attachments, and Facebook status. Say they pussy be snatching. That late night action, boy, we all done handed up and sweating on that ass. She just looking back at it. I'm on the body shower, got clean, got the green invitation. Call the settlers for the digging, for the body. Smith and West. Learn my lesson as a shorty, not to leave without the body. I'm not trying to catch nobody, though I'm in this bitch party. Trying to find a shorty who went to the kind of shit that I do. Drink, blow strong, get high, pop the models too. Ain't got a lot of you, and plus I never been a gang spitter. Oh, ain't never been a lame nigga. I can't get her, then she must be unobtainable. She getting by for striker range, I hit her with a finger too. She hollering, she ain't never gave that pussy to a king before. I told her she ain't never been to England. I already know enough with all that small talk. And tell her when her mama wants, she wanted, then I'm going to knock this pussy out the ballpark. Like Rick Ross, cause I'm caught up in the moment. Like we, the nigga, show me my opponent on 3G. And I got pills, got weed in the mother game. Five. And a hell of five wallet game. Pocket full of manners and I'm riding with the man. No, but they ain't starting static. I'm just thinking about dragging. You know the ones who come with no streets, no attachments. And Facebook status say they pussy be snatching. That late night action, boy, we all done had it up and sweating on that ass. She just looking fantastic. Yeah. I'm going in. We in the whip and now I'm feeling fantastic. Her feet up on the dance, skirt hitch, wet the ass. Then she asked me if I stick a driver. She a 10 for lot of your ass. And do a bash it in the woods and then for Robbie's go. Faster than Pinto. She giggin' and she laughing. Even make it to the room. I 
I hit a bottle over pad And that's the way the models have a bitch Fiend like Kelly Say she gotta get home to her man But need grape jelly Pancakes and bacon So please stop at IHOP I said that's no problem Just keep bobbing and don't stop I might cop the building The way this shit feeling She say her shit snatching But feel like it's stealing huh. Fucking sensational She should have occupation A license to certify these other girls And get them nice I'm just saying The girl ain't even playing in the bedroom Me top shelf I pull I'm going in Got pills, got weed in the mother game Five. And a hell of a while a game Pocket full of manners and I'm riding with the mad number thing Start static, I'm just thinking about dragging You know the ones who come with no streams, no attachments And Facebook status say they pussy be snatching That late night action where we all done Had it up and sweating on that ass She just looking back at me, I'm going in I got a chick who stay on holiday She like to get on something with the dick Don't even fuck off She say that I'm the boss so much you think a nigga rip raw She eat up all the dick, don't make me cut my other chicks off She get solid, then she come and wipe a nigga off She cook for me and kiss me and say, baby, go and be a boss With no attitude, ain't no when you come and bite, no fight And that's exactly what the fuck a real nigga like Straight like that, shorty look like she an actress With Halle Berry face, Layla Tits, nigga ass With the swagger, Kelly Rowland and Beyonce thighs Making good eyes, look like she Sierra when she rides Always be my baby like my ride She on that Tony Braxton shit, so you you ain't got to lie, like Keisha Cole and Monica, she told me I can trust, so I keep her with a couple pound of weed and some dust, and bust ass niggas get nothing, she be quick to put her hand up, she know she got a nigga back, strong dick and stand up for hours like it's standing in the line to vote for Democrats, and plus I like the way I smack that ass and hit her from the back, I see her with her man, I act like she a stranger, I know she got a man, just every now and then I bang her, she call me up whenever she be anger, she know I got that yank, loud pack, ain't gon' mangle her with dangling, got pills, got weed in the mother gang, and a hell of a while again. Be snatching that late night action where we all done had it up and sweating on that ass. She just looking back at me. I'm going in. I'm going in. Nigga back home, I noticed my partners just starting to show back up like a forgot I'm like going days and not the fool. Having to hustle to put some money in my pocket. I figured that I get a job. Like I'm a quick enough so I'm just thinking about robbing can sell that we like energy and going to get me out the hood. So let's get it popping. It started out way back. I was rocking the way caps. It came from them hunters and now we get made best. Like we live with the safe fat. We sleeping on floors and crashing on them plates. Match not music on playback. But you know I don't play that. Like I pause to keep it with but it's no take backs. In my city, we stay strapped. How does that sound, nigga? Living in the city when nobody really wanna help blast my nigga. Everybody fighting but the blue mic as well, be a killer cause you really gonna snap my nigga Back around of the whole thing, just trying to maintain Nobody got my back, I figure when the whole thing's all said and done We gonna be the ones that's gonna come back round Which I notice, it's a lot of pain that don't show it You get it, and that's what you put in And I'm sorry, my story's not closing And my feelings so famous, I number this I get for haters, not finally open I should take my life and make it to a penance Just moving your trenches to see if it's potent, nigga Now I'm hoping, nigga, like, uh oh. I holler victory, 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 victory. As I stand over my enemies, I holler victory, victory, man, I'm down to ride by any means, I holler victory, victory, as I stand over my enemies, I holler victory, victory, Man, I'm down to ride by any means. Wanna be a killer saying you a dealer, nigga, shut you down to ride. Uh, how the hell you let him pull up on you when you didn't have it on your side? Uh, quit it, nigga, you ain't with it, bang, see the tears in your mama's eyes. Uh, death, don't discriminate, tapping on his watch like it's fucking time. I'm a giant boy, there ain't no feeling. These shoes rappers make me feel like this, I'm killing the dude. Must be paralyzed if you ain't feeling the dude. When I die by a sweater, remember this tune. Wait a second, I ain't taking second board. The verse is so perfect, they gave him heaven. Written scriptures, I'm spitting, but I hate to rap and be the greatest. The same day I make an effort, mama told me stay out in these streets. I ain't listening now. I look at me looking over my shoulder, I just want some peace I can't have it unless I got a piece He approached in his coat, in the pool, but he told Pool George And please don't jam, you hope Receded to turn it from man to a ghost And you ran up the tuck in your barrel of smoke Bloody hands now, had to hit him with the heat Got a tear now, got a body in my glock Nigga shot down, nigga tell me what's the motherfucking plan now Nigga what's the plan now, will you fall to your knees Will you pray, or did your first taste of blood Fucking drive, you insane I had the victory 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 as I stand over my enemies, I holler victory, victory, victory. Man, I'm down to ride by any means. I holler victory, victory, victory. As I stand over my enemies, I 
Holla victory, victory, victory. Man, I'm down to ride by any man. Multiply your time with me Forgetting him, that's what I call division Baby, I'm on a mission And there's no time to waste Too many angles and positions We gon' need some space Check out the area, the length and the will Our eyes measuring my area, my lane and my will And she know I'm taking care of her As long as she is with me and she know I ain't never slipping unless she is dripping. And I am on the inside, laying side by side. We looking like the equal sign. Yo, insides I wanna conquer, so it's time to divide. Those legs, there's a bit of we can use the flow instead. The way her back was arched, it was so astonishing. And she moaning deeply, cause my dick harder than trick the number three. I'm the best at this, and that's a definite I'm the answer to all your stresses, ain't no questioning Let me rejuvenate your body with these refreshments This mathematics, I bend your back with no coward practice My solution's ecstatic, it's magic, baby, you gotta have it Equations say two things are equal, what is you and me? No hitting variables between us in this plane of sea. I wear the whispers, cause nothing's louder than action. Them other dudes can never amount, not even a fraction. The only one that matters is when we on top of each other. And when we both locked in, ain't no stopping each other. Next thing we realize, the sun goes up. And then we go another round, the sun goes up. Bet you never thought that man Already you know it's your boy Mr. Easy Bounce to the south side Bounce is coming to you live on VOSS Radio Right now we got some boy Wise Straight out of Laredo, Florida We gonna play one of his songs It's called It Could've Been You So that y'all can get a little feel about he's about You heard me? And then we gonna get a pop We gonna get it back We gonna get him on the line And we gonna start handling everything You know what I'm saying? The way we do it right here You know how bosses get down so Y'all enjoy Again, this is This Could've Been You the tone. Hey baby, just call cause I saw you with that girl. I hope she knows those lips were all mine. Does she make you happy like me? Call me when you get tired of her. I love you baby. I love you baby. When you 
a mind, I was flying in paradise Soft skin, fine frame, and a pair of eyes That had me weak in the knees like I was paralyzed But your attitude brought us to this point in time Now you call nonchalant like everything is fine Talking about you saw me with my girl riding by Asking if I'm happy and if she can make me smile And if I forgot how we used to get wild Yeah, she fixed my heart like she done press the wine And I forgot the pain you caused when you said goodbye I got a second chance with love like a lifeline And she makes me wanna be with her for a lifetime Oh damn, I hit a nerve, now the pain's true Now you feeling all the pain that I went through Karma came around, now it's your turn to lose She gets the best of me, why you wish it could've been you? Everything, but it wasn't good enough I put my pride aside when our fights were getting rough I know you saw it and you thought you caught my blood But understand I'm a man, I was showing love You thought your pride and ego had to be for both of us I stayed quiet but there's so much one can bottle love I loved you from head to feet but I am not a rug You wanted to be the queen bee, now you're just a ladybug But now I'm treated right, every day with back rubs And regularly make love in the bathtub You can keep your fun in and out of nightclubs I know when you're all alone you're wishing you had someone Oh damn I hit a nerve, now the pain's true Now you're feeling all the pain that I went through Karma came around, now it's your turn to lose She gets the best of me, why you wish it could've been you? And you get the point And know this your loss When you see me going Love is kind Love is sweet And love is sometimes boring And if you can't cherish it Someone will adore it Oh damn I hit a nerve I hope your pain's true I hope you feel All the pain that I went through Karma came around Now it's your turn to lose She gets the best of me While you wish it could've been you You Already we back on BOSS Radio, bringing it to you live. We got your boy Wise on the line. I'm gonna go ahead and let him come on right now. Just give me one moment. Already, how you doing, Wise? What's going on, man? What's going on, Mr. Chillin', Chilling, man. Chilling, man. I just want to let you know we broadcast it live right now. So we got right now. We're gonna go ahead and get the show started. All right, how you doing out there in Laredo, Texas, man? No, I'm doing pretty good, man. We're doing pretty good. Everything. Oh man, you know I'm out here in Clearwater, uh, Florida right now. You know, sunny days, sunny days, nothing but the beach out here, so ain't no, I can't do nothing but enjoy that, right? Yes, sir, exactly right. Got the top back wind blowing and there's a good jams on there on the radio right now. Already, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I got your name through my boy Eduardo. He told me that I had to hit you up and get you on the station. So here we are right now. I just want to uh, welcome you to BOSS Radio and say it was uh, that you're obviously making a good name for yourself. I'm hearing about you from all the way over here in Florida. So I just tell me a little bit about yourself, you know, as a person. I, how are you out there in Laredo, Texas? Uh, uh, born and raised in Laredo, Texas, proud. Uh, it's it's uh, it's Uh, 
Already, I feel you on that. Yeah, I heard you say something about you working out there in the oil, you, uh, the oil you fields out there. I heard that now, that's some good money right there. So I could, it's safe to say that's your hustle right there, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, right now it's it turned out pretty slow, but um, with that good work that we did have, that good you know, for good five, five or six years, uh, you know, were uh, possibilities were endless with the money. You know, you just got money, could be more money than you know what to do with. Already, already. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, I just, uh, just got a question for you. Uh, do you have me on speakerphone right now? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you take that off right now? Because it's, it's kind of hard to hear you right now. Oh, that's better. We got you clearer now. Now we got you clearer. Already, already. There you go. All right. Yeah, so tell me, uh, what, uh, what is there else? To, what is there to do on the radio? I mean, I know people like to go clubbing and stuff like that, but I mean, it got to be more than just clubbing and stuff out there. Laredo, right? Yeah, the radio has a lot to offer, man. It's, it's um, you know, it's a good culture. It's, it's more than anything, it's based off of culture. You know, having a whole lot of the Hispanics and and um. You know, roots in Mexico, being right next to Mexico, we have a whole lot of uh, things you can do in Laredo. Uh, a couple of things across the border, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a different story nowadays. Uh, but in culture, man, it, it's practically just jamming out, having a good time with the family, you know, the cookouts. Uh, so there, there's the clubs and, and the regular nightlife, but um, really it's just a whole lot of the, the close community and, and the, the, the family values. Okay, okay, already. So y'all pretty much got to say, uh, uh, it takes a village to raise a child. So when the kid gets in trouble at school, his asses might get wore out from all the way from the school to <laughs> home, huh? <laughs> yes, sir, exactly right. Everybody knows about the time he went home, but everybody knows what he did wrong. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, so I know as a kid growing up now, we've been a hell of a half Yeah, exactly right. You have to handle your own, man. Uh, you have to take care of business and, and uh, do the right thing. And if not, you have to do it. Real. That's real on that. I hear you on that. <laughs> so tell me, what inspired you to become an artist? Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I, I, you know, I did one of those cliche uh, come ups with with the poetry starting off, and uh, you know, just a simple way to express myself with rhythm and rhyme, and and uh, brought it over to the beats. And uh, you know, having looked back, man, I mean, I still do some poetry, but normally it's just you know letting these uh, emotions and thoughts go off on on, on the paper and pen, and and uh, you know, hit the beat and and find a topic to talk to talk about, and you know, take it on like that. Well, you know that sometimes that's just where pure talent comes from. You don't have to have no backstory for it. You know what I'm saying? Pure talent comes from the heart, comes from the soul. So it sounds like that's where you got yours from. So that's that's even better because we need more talent in this industry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There you go. It's, um, you know, you, you have talent and you have skills. Uh, and if you have talent, then the skills are a plus. And then, you know, vice versa. If you have skills, then having some talent is a plus. So, so uh, I mean, you got to better yourself on, on, on either one of them. You know, what you're going back and you still got to put yourself up better. Already, I hear you on that. Okay, okay. I like the way you're talking right now. You always got to work on your strength, on your weaknesses, not just your strengths. That's what's up. Exactly right. Yeah, give them, give the audience, man, something, you know, they're, they're paying money to see you and, and if, uh, they're interested in what you have to say, you know, you, you give them some quality, you know, instead of, um, you know, having the same old thing, you kind of try to stand out. You want to do, you know, your own thing and everything. Right, right. Okay, already, already. So how long you been doing your own thing right now? Uh, I just came back, man, uh, of the old field. It, it took my whole life, and uh, it was either, you know, my music and passion or, you know, my family. And, and uh, I mean, I got it. I went through, through a divorce, and, and uh, as a matter of fact, that could have been the best uh, uh, the best blessing and curse you could have heard, you know, you, you could have, because it gave me the time to go back into music. And right. 2015, November, I believe, I put out my first uh, uh, video. Uh, back on this music scene, and and ever since 2015. 
team, man, I've, I've been I've been on the road and, and people have been uh, showing love, you know, left and right. It's been a beautiful feeling. It's been a beautiful ride. That's what's up. That's what's up. You sound like you deserve it. You say you got your video going and everything like that. Uh, now I meant to ask you, what's your label called? Like, what, what is the movement that you go up under? No, nah, man, I, I'm straight out independent. I'm, I'm, I'm by myself. You know, it's, yeah. it's. Um, there's a lot of Laredo artists here, but uh, I'm, I'm not signed. I'm not. Uh, I'm just another small fish in a big pond. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know, independent is actually where the actual talent and art is because, you know, once you actually get, you start getting with labels and stuff, it's exactly what it is. You get labeled and now you have to fit in with that label. And so independence is sometimes the best. Exactly, exactly. There you go. The thing that I'm bringing over to to the, the hip-hop community in a, in, a, in a whole is the flavor that Laredo, Texas has, which is a Spanish and English um, um, combination, and and you know you know primarily it's more more English than anything. But I'm I'm bringing in some flavor, and, and I want to shock the the community and have them say like, oh man, you know uh, Laredo, Texas was slept on until now. You know? Already, yeah, you guys say I hear your net. People really do need to wake up uh, on the radio because. I was out there at Corpus Christi for 10 years, and a lot of talent came out of South Texas. There was a yes, lot of yes, talent. Sir. So I really do, uh, uh, that's, I'm glad, that's why I was, I'm glad I was able to have this connection to be able to bring y'all onto my station. That way I can help get these eyes on you and, and eyes on every artist yes, out there because once you get that, that that notoriety, your talent is already there. The skills is already there. All it takes is just the right eye or the right ear to hear you. Uh, and I've been hearing that a whole lot since, since I came in. They're saying, hey, you know what, look, just take your time, do enough, and to listen to it that can help you do the right moves and, and get you to the right places. And, and it's all just a waiting game. Like I said, the talent is there, uh, the hunger is there, and, and um, the ambitions to let the people of Laredo, Texas know that, you know, that one of their own is going to blow up and, and, and not forget to bring up, you know, the name, you know, exactly. have, have Laredo, Texas on the back. Exactly. Exactly, and I see how your logo set up. Your logo set up. You 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 you, you brand it with Laredo, so that's real good thing, right, <laughs> right there. They gotta show you love, nah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. Uh, you know, and, and that was one of the the strategies that I had. I was like, you know what? And uh, all, all respects to everybody who claims their side and does what what they do on their end, you know. But um, I was like, man, you know what? I'm not trying to represent the side of Laredo. I'm gonna try to represent everybody from Laredo. Yeah, so, so we all have this one collective voice, you know. Um, So tell me about your last show. How was it? Where was it? And how was it? Oh, man, uh, I went to South by Southwest this year, 2016, um, to Loco. Loco, thank you very much for the, uh, you know, hospitality. And, and uh, dude, we did real good. Uh, I love the way that, um, that I came out and, and got the attention of the people. Um, my music is a little different, like I tell the people. So, you know, it, it was a challenge to get them to really understand why I'm coming from. shows have you been able to do? I, I, I have four since I came back in uh, uh, November 2015. I have um, four so far, two in Laredo, one in New Braunfels, Texas, and then one in Austin, Texas. And uh, everywhere I go, I, I leave people saying, you know, hey, you're doing a good job. Keep on, you know, keep it up. You just, uh, you know, represent the way that you do. Already. Okay. Love. okay, already, already. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. So uh, what kind of upcoming projects we should be looking out for? my original one my original CD it's called The Beginning but this new album that I'm working on it's, it's beautiful it's got a lot of flavor and a lot more um, zoning in on, on what I want to put in you know like um, if I'm doing a Spanish song I'm going to have somebody really put in some Spanish part in it and, and have that real sp Spanish flavor coming in uh, uh, if, if I'm coming in with, with, with a love song I'm going to have a whole lot of feeling and the production on this album is, is hands down the best that I've had. And 
and it's going to be a, a little movie in your mind. When you start listening to the songs, I'm going to have a whole lot of production and sounds and, and like old school, man. You know, like that old school, uh, uh, the Chronic album, oh, okay. where, where you had you know, little skits coming out and, and it was just a beautiful ride from the very beginning to the very end. Right. Um, like some of right. my best... Uh, huh? Okay, I feel you, I feel you, I feel you, I like that, I like that. Alright, so who do, who's doing a lot of your production? Um, I'm going to this website called my, MyFlashStore.net. I have uh, Tone Jones. Um, he, he's a uh, kind of, I'm sorry, I don't know where he's from. I know that he's, uh, he's really popular. He, he's, he's got really good beats, Tone Jones. I have some locals, um, Fresh Beats off of Laredo, Texas. I have a song with him, with, with his beat. And, and normally it's just, you know, whatever I catch, whatever catches my attention, whatever makes me want to write and, and talk about whatever subject they have me feeling, um, I'll do that. So, I mean, I'm, I'm open to all types of styles as long as I can feel something, write something honest with it. Right, okay, okay, already. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Already, you ever thought about uh, trying to link out and do uh, music with people like in other cities or other states and things like that? Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, on that Austin show, I met up with the DJ, uh, DJ Torin Morrison. Uh, man, that, that dude is gifted. He, he has uh, EMD, EDM, I'm sorry, EDM um, uh, influenced um, music and beats, and and some of the, big, the some of the beats that he sent me are just amazing. It's it's completely different. It's completely new, uh, and it's completely uh, a great sound that I want to work with. It's EDM uh, infused, I guess you can call it. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't catch where you said he was from again? Uh, okay, uh, I met him in Austin. I met him in the Austin show. Uh, I believe oh, okay. he might be from Louisiana. Oh, already. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. So you're going to be reaching across the Gulf right there today, okay? Doing something out of Louisiana. Oh, uh, yeah, man. I'm in that. Yes, sir, exactly. And I'm open to anybody, you know, from, from Florida, you know, bring me anybody that, that we can have a good little vibe. Oh, man, now we have a little technical difficulty, so right now we're going to go ahead and play a song while we get them back on the line. So y'all just give us one moment, all right? We do apologize about that small de- technical difficulties, you know, on my end the line drop, but we got them back on, you know, we, you can never stop a real player from actually getting it on, and that's exactly what we got, two players on the line right now, why I tell them you back? Yeah, 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 what's going on Mr. E, man, I mean, I appreciate all the love and the, and, and I mean, just a simple shout out of, of having you on, having me on your, your radio station, man, uh, uh, SBC movement, man, it's, it's a great jam. 
um, good mixes, man. I'm paying attention to them, and, and uh, I see them artists, man. You got really good artists coming on your on your songs, man. So um, shout out to you. All right. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You know, anybody else that you might want to give a shout out to while we got you online? Oh, uh, man, my girlfriend, man, Hiromi Saito, she, she's been uh, the queen move over here. When I when I slow down, she steps it up. When I say no, she says go, you know? So, uh, okay. I mean, it's just a beautiful, beautiful um, partnership that we have as well as, you know, relationship that we know, that we share, you know, um, our our visions and, and, you know, the motivation to, to do better and to get bigger. Already, that's what's up. That sounds like it's a beautiful love right there. You know, some people ain't able. Wish I wish I, I ain't gonna lie. I wish I had somebody. <laughs> but hey, mine to come through, yeah, lady. You know, you know. I just right now I got my kids, so that's enough. But uh, that also brings me to my next question: uh, Who else? Who who in the industry and out of the industry have actually touched you the most in this game? All right, so, I mean, it, it, it might sound cliche to a point, but, I mean, the Laredo, Texas, the people who have heard it, the people who have reached out and said, hey, man, your CD, because this is my unofficial debut album, uh, the people who say, hey, man, you're doing something good, like how, you know, you, you uh, previously said, you got a talent, you got a gift, you got a voice, you got a message, you got, you know, you got something, you got to run with it. Um, the people that, that just come up and support me, the people right now who are on the, on the live interview feed, uh, right now listening. I mean, everybody that, that has shown love in the musical aspect, I mean, I just really appreciate it. Coming from from a shy kid who, who didn't have a lot of friends, you know, having a lot of fans or having a lot of supporters is a complete uh, upside-down type of uh, feeling in my world where I have people saying, hey, man, I, I love what you did, I love what you're doing, I see what you're doing, you know, keep it up. So, so it, it's mainly that, man. I, I haven't, I, I have had a, Supporters from artists and, and and people doing music, but no lie, the fans are the ones who really pick me up when, when I when I feel like if nobody's paying attention, I'll have somebody be like, hey man, you know what? Boom, there you go. Uh, I was listening to your whole CD, you know, over and over in my car, and I love it, and I can't stop listening to it. So that's, that's a beautiful feeling. Oh yeah, that is definitely a beautiful feeling. I can just imagine how that feeling is. That makes you feel like a like a like a celebrity, and it, it actually is. It is oh, a whole man. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It's a blessing, and and, and I try not to, you know, um, in, in Spanish we call it um, subiendo los humos. In English, it's translated to kind of like don't let your your head get carried away. But when I hear people tell me, hey man, you know, keep on doing it, you know, you got something with it. Uh, it just, you know, starts making my head grow bigger. Like man, people like my music. People like the the messages that I want to do. I want to keep on doing better and more and more and more. You know, right. No, I understand that completely. I understand that completely. Yeah, so uh, I, I wanted to ask you uh, about uh, a little bit because I like to, on these interviews, I like to pick uh, the brains of my interviewees and find out exactly what they knew about the uh, industry, about like the actual politicking of the industry. Because, you know, a lot of people think that you can just cut a hit and all of a sudden overnight you're famous and they don't understand <laughs> that the work that you have to put in outside of yeah, the work. So I'm, I'm okay. Well, my uh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, my understanding that the show business is um, go with the flow. You know, it's going to be ten times harder if you go against the grain. Um, but that one in a million can go against the grain and and you know hold his own and he does something strong and it become and he becomes a movement. You know, Eminem became a movement to having more diversity because of uh, because of talent. Um, uh, NWA became a movement because of the, the talent, you know, like as long as you have that talent, right. um, you can become a movement if, if you stay um, and you stay to your cause. And um, that's what I'm taking in because I understand that I'm David going up against Goliath when it comes to the type of music that I'm bringing, um, where it's not, you know, hey, turn up, get crunk, and, and, and all of these things where my music is more to what happened to this gentleman, listen to what happened to these kids, listen to what happened to this life, and, and you know, nowadays you're just trying to talk about the club, and you're just trying to talk about, you know, bottle popping and stuff like that, so, so I understand that, and in, in my case, it's going to be a little bit harder to push past uh, the, the crowd, but, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going at it, and, and the support keeps me up, but, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's politics, man, it, it's uh, friends and fans 
because they are going towards another group or another artist because they can't, you know, out loud. I support Wise because he's going up against the grain. Right. When they when they themselves are the grain that I'm going up against. You know? Okay, okay, already. I hear you on that. I hear you on that. Also, I heard what you were saying about the movement. I like how you how you talking about the movement because a lot of people they also they understand what a movement is. Like they hear a lot of artists talk about it they, they, in their music or or maybe on their websites or in public uh, social media and stuff like that. But they don't actually take the time to actually uh, uh, research what that movement is and. My thing, like one of the main movements that I really liked was uh, how Akon. Uh, got so many uh, Africans with electricity over there. He was actually doing yes, something yes. for a movement. And uh, yes, like, sir, that's exactly. yeah. I mean, you. I mean, I just like to, like how artists to tell the, these the youngsters how if you really want to have that movement, you have to start in your community. Like, what, what, like tell me some things that Laredo has that 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 y'all give back to to the the show that y'all are actually for the community. Okay, so the the movement that Lorraine has right now is, is a big slap face for me to say that Laredo is actually is the United States' most boring city, you know, because we have so much that the people who don't know us wouldn't understand. You know, like how I said, till four in the morning, you, you know, you're having a cookout, you're drinking beer, you're, you're listening to some hip hop, and then you you switched up some uh, porteños, and then you know you ended up with some corridos. So you have three completely different styles of music blending one family right. that was having a cookout from the very beginning with some kids listening to, uh, you know, Justin Bieber to having the, the parents at the very end of the night or, or the next morning listening to Vicente Fernandez or, or, or you know, uh, listening to Beto um, Quintana. So you have a lot of... Uh, and that's the message I want to give to the world, saying, hey, you know what, Laredo's got unity within its own family and and we might just have to be outside of the loop forever because this is all in the world but i'm gonna let y'all know how the world spins around here exactly exactly i like that because there are a lot of you got to understand that the basis of every community is the family and if every basis of the family is the individual. If you as an individual ain't trying there to get back go. to your family or get back to the community, then all you're really doing yes, is taking sir. away from him. And when you're taking away from it, people see that. People see that you, you're taking away yes, from him and not giving back and that hurts you in the end. So that's why it's, exactly. it's always smart to whatever your success is and that to, you utilize that to give back to the community. Yes, I mean, even yes, a simple, that's exactly, that's point. yeah, even like a simple presence, like you showing up to a charity event and people saying that you showed up there, so you'll be able to actually uh, get people to come up there and see just because you're there. No, it doesn't. Yes, sir, that's exactly right. Yeah, it doesn't actually take money sometimes, but you know, a lot of people they think about when they think about giving back, they think about New Jack City when he bought all those turkeys <laughs> on Thanksgiving and yes, Christmas sir. and he gave back to the community. I mean, that would be lovely, don't yeah. get me wrong. <laughs> and, and, and that didn't buy the, and, and that, that, that actually didn't buy the love at the end of the movie, you know, everybody still turned on him because they knew that she was taking away more than he was giving back. Exactly. Exactly. So that shows you right there that it doesn't just take money. To give back to the community, sometimes it just take your presence. That's exactly right. Just uh, it's the love that one that one shows to to people in its community. Yeah, really. Now I also got one other uh, question. Another, I, I, this is the first time I actually asked any artist on my radio station this because they say it's three things you don't talk about: sports, religion, and politics. But I just don't Honestly, have to talk about. Bring them, bring them. <laughs> Already, okay, okay. Well, I do want to talk about a little bit about politics. Cause I do know where Laredo is, so I can. I just have two. I have two questions, but the first one is more controversial than the second one. And the first one is, I bet okay. it's a, I bet it's a lot of fuck Trump posters all over that city, right? You know, you know, and and, and I would laugh with you, but as a matter of fact, Trump ended up winning our our county. Uh, Laredo is, is our one, one of the biggest cities, if not the biggest city in our county, and Donald Trump won our county, Webb wow. County, which is, which is crazy to me because I do see on my, on my news book feed, uh, my Facebook feed, I, I do see people, uh, supporting Trump, and they have their reasons, they have their, you know, their ideas and, and their, and their motives. Me, right. personally, I wear that fuck Trump, you know, t-shirt now, loud and proud. 
proud because, you know, I'm a Bernie Sanders fan. I feel, I feel like if Bernie Sanders has the right idea, he might not have, you know, all the, all the right uh, support and, and yeah. you know, he's going up against the brain himself, but he's got the mentality of, hey, you know what, let's do this for the people instead of let's do this for the, the quote-unquote you know, job makers right. because they're going to make more jobs and make more economy. No, no, how about we just, you know, do what New York did, do what um, uh, California did, and let's, let's uh, raise up the minimum level, uh, you know, the minimum wage to $15 an hour, even though it includes, you know, uh, uh, Burger King and, and McDonald's because it also includes the car washers, yeah, the exactly. plumbers, it also includes everybody else working a minimum wage job, not only the fast food employees that get your fries cold or, or you have to tell them three times in order while you're in the, uh, on the in your car, you know, and you're looking for the convenience of, you're like, oh, I had to repeat my order three times, bro, it, you didn't leave your car, you know, you still have the AC on. Exactly. Exactly. And another thing, too, is if you paid them $15 an hour, I guarantee you your fries would be hot every time because they're going <laughs> to love being at work. I get exactly. my checks looking like, Co- what? No, so I right. mean. Cold fries never killed anybody, exactly. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> I like your, I like your <laughs> thoughts on that. I, I, I didn't even think about the $15 minimum weight, but that is good that they're actually starting at in certain states. That I know it's going to be yes, really sir. hard to get that in Texas, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure in Texas, I believe it's uh, seven seventy five, seven fifty, somewhere right. on there. But yes. I mean, like how I said, it's it's bound to happen. Um, you know, like how they said, even Hillary started saying, "Oh, well, I was for the fifteen dollars an hour." No, you weren't. I mean, you're just trying to ride the lightning right now. As as as, uh, right. as the movement is happening, she's trying to switch positions over to you know what Sanders is, is, is really talking about or has kept on talking about. And not not really, you know, he's been standing his ground, but. I mean, for real, I, I say fuck Trump for different reasons because that that uh, illegal immigration, um, you see, that, and, that, and that's the fine line that you got to think about. He never said uh, uh, Mexican immigrants, or Mexican, you know, right. law-abiding immigrants. No, he said the Mexican illegal immigrants. And you know, I I went at the people. Hey, man, he talked about Mexico, and you know, we're from Mexico. But then, you know, you, you kind of start to think about it again, that we actually do need a system that says, hey, how about you pay to play? You know, how about, right. you know, everybody's doing bad. How about, you know, if you get caught illegally, you know, you get thrown back or whatever, but, you know, we don't, you know, cut your heads off or whatever. You just, you know, you got to do it the legal way. Right. Uh, but he, was, he, he wasn't saying the Mexican people as Mexico as a country. He, he meant Mexican uh, illegal immigrants. And, you know, there's a fine line that you're walking whenever you're talking about uh, a group of people, especially with, you know, with ties to American and Mexican uh, families, you know. Oh, yeah. Now, I, I'm glad we was able to get that clarification, especially by somebody that's actually in the area because, you know, a lot of people got they got they, the two cents to throw in, but if you ain't actually being directly affected by this, it really, you really yeah. just don't have a proper aspect on it. So, no. I'm really glad we got I, somebody. I'm still, I'm still publicly saying fuck Trump, man. I, <laughs> that dude, he, he, he's, uh, he's a fuck boy in all my, in all my <laughs> definitions of that word, you know, because, you know, he, He's, he's liking the violence. He's liking all of this uh, mayhem that he's causing, you know, because he's not a he's not a joke anymore. He's an actual content, you know, kind of contender. Oh, yeah. He's a competitor now. He's not even, you know, you got to take him serious. You can't say, no, this dude, he's a joke. He's a chump. He's a he's a celebrity. He's not gonna make it. No, he's there. Oh yeah. But very high chance. He, he like, oh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. He, he got that, you know, possibility to, to become something. But I mean, it's. You know, if you want to go with the rest of us conspiracy theorists, because I am, I, I believe, you know, uh, Hillary's got the upper hand uh, over everybody because she's the one who's bought by everybody, you know, by, by the companies that Bernie Sanders is trying to get rid of, uh, or at least uh, trying to control, and, and the people, you know, that's higher ups. Okay. Hello? Yes, sir, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay, yeah, now my fault. Okay. Yeah, yeah, now I hear you on that. I hear you on that. And, yeah, I do, uh, me personally, yeah, I do think there is something that they're up with the Hillary campaign. Um, my, 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 I have a totally different theory. My theory is that there's something that's going to happen that's going to keep Obama into the presidency. Uh, but, like, yeah, I mean, uh, it's, actual, uh, it's an actual law that if they start martial law before uh, Obama is 
out of the presidency that they started before December 31st, 2016. Uh-huh. He does not have to leave the office because he implemented oh, wow. martial law. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, that you wouldn't stay in, in position. Yeah, you're right. Because he, 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 the person that had seen martial law in has to see it out. So that's when that's I found right. that out, I was like, that's that's a real good. That's my theory. But I do have an, that's an option. I, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, but the, the Hillary Clinton thing, the reason why it sits heavily with me is because of the fact they are in the same camp. Him, her and Obama, they're in the same camp. Uh, a lot of people don't want to mm-hmm. admit it, but yes, they sir. are. They are in the same camp. So. They are. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, okay, okay. So, we got to need somebody on here that actually got some political knowledge and you know, knows what they're doing. Out here because, hey, this world, everybody got to live in this world. And if you don't know what's going on with this world, then you don't know what's going on with your life. So, that's the reason I like to bring these things up. But, all right, but I do have uh, two more questions, and then we're going to go and play your next song. And I'm going to let you introduce that song. Uh, but right now, uh, the first question I do want to ask you is that if, if you had the choice to talk to anybody in the industry, about a contract. Who would you talk to and what kind of contract would that be? Um, well, you know, it, it, that's a very, very uh, touching subject for me because I want to stick to my, to my Mexican, you know, talk to somebody, you know, like in Dope House, uh, which is a, a neighborhood off of Houston, uh, right. with uh, South Park Mexican being one of its uh, highest uh, grossing artists. I also want to talk to people who are in my kind of thing. Like Lupe Fiasco is, is one of my favorite because, you know, she's got a message behind his words. And everything. So at the same time, you know, and, and it's, and it's probably the prison mentality that has all in a way kind of each other by color. But, I mean, I want to stick with my last time. I want to stick with my people to say, hey, man, you know what? How about we, we build up a real Texas? How about we build up Texas? How about we build up a sound? Uh, connect two cultures and have Spanish speakers and English speakers jamming on to one, you know, one unified, you know, but at the end, I want to talk to somebody who's the fact that I want to talk about political things, talk about uh, and, and, and uh, Lupe Fiasco, you know, so it, it's, it's practically as long as I keep my artistic um, idea on the table, anybody willing to compromise with what I want to do is more than welcome to, to you know, to give me a, a shot or give me an idea, give me a contract uh, offer to do Already. Okay, okay. I like the way, okay, that, that's actually... Very in depth, you know. Most people they already have they they one person they want to talk to. And I want to sign for this, and I want to do this, and over there. You put a lot of thought into what is exactly what you want out of this game, and that actually covered a lot of what I was going to ask you on the second question. <laughs> was which was <laughs> where do you see yourself in the next five years with this game? Uh, I'm not even going to let you answer without the that one. I would have to ask the fans. I would have to ask them, where do you see me in five years? Putting out that music that you want to listen to. Still see uh, yourself as a fan to wise. Do you still see it's my work on my songs? Do you still see yourself wanting to pay, wanting to watch me go do a show, you know, um, I, I, I have a passion for music, and I have a passion for just what I'm doing, so I'm going to stop it, but at the same time, it's money, and right now, uh, the funds are extremely, you know, and picking the right now, since I work working the old field, and the old field is crazy, so, like I said, I mean, I, I would even want Years from now, I'm talking about you know situations that touch the heart, that, touch, that make you think, that make you cry, that make you laugh, that make you angry, and you know, and let them be the ones who decide. But me, I'm always gonna be music, and I love music, and I probably won't ever start writing songs. You know, it's just the level of exposure that I have is typically all based on. Okay. Okay, yeah, that, that's actually the most logical question, uh, answer that I've heard in a while. Because uh, without fans, what more can you do but just put out good art? Right, it's like being stuck between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> no, you're fair. 
but yeah, but I, okay, but uh, yeah, I, man, I, you know, this was the, the most eye opening, or oh, actually, if I got to say it, ear opening, uh, yeah. Since I've been doing this, I have it's like I, I've had some great interviews. Don't get me wrong, I've had some great interviews in the past couple of weeks. But this is actually I'm glad we was actually at, uh, able to touch on topics that was outside of the music as well as in the music, and, and actually get to know a little bit more about Wise. You know, straight out of the radio, and I feel like we can actually. Uh, I, I, I told uh, uh, I told my last interview that uh, last night that TAB Texas is acting bad. That I was gonna put them on the song, so guess I guess we gotta get all both of y'all on the song now, cause uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you your go. mentality, your mentality is actually to the point where I actually want to do a song with you because I don't have to worry about <laughs> hearing no nonsense on that verse. You there know? you go, man. There you go. Yeah, as I know you hear the radio. The radio is plays a lot of bull. That's why I have my own radio station. It's time to get those underground artists such as yourself and Texas at the Bag and Easy Blanco uh, uh, heard. Across the nature, right now it's across the south. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, like I've been doing this for a while. That's why my thing is called Southside Bosses. But uh, I'm glad I was able to get you out here and get and put you in front of my fans, that so that they could hear exactly what the underground in South Texas is about. Yes, sir. And we have a lot of good artists here in South Texas. Christy, we got uh, Laredo, we got Houston, we got Dallas, San Antonio good artists, uh, but like how I said, the book and out of the rest, those are the ones that, that you can feel are honest, you can feel are, are, are right in the mentality and the goals, not just to make the money, uh, you know, you, I want to entertain your fans as well as my fans, I want to entertain the world with three minutes of an audio odyssey, with an audio visual of of uh, my thoughts about a specific topic, and you know, hopefully they agree with some things. They'll probably disagree with some other things, but music—that's the, the the language of the song. Already, already. Well, it was it, it was a wonderful experience having you on. Uh, but right now, we play "It Could Have Been You" earlier, and we have your second song. So I want I want you to go ahead and introduce that to the world right now. Tell them what your new sound, what your your next jam is. What's going on, world? This is Wise MTZ. You're about to listen to Fake Friends. I uh, hope y'all have fun, man. Uh, it hurt sometimes, but it is what it is. Already. Yeah, you heard him. This your boy, Mr. E, boss of the Southside Bosses on BOSS Radio, live with Wise MTZ. I hope y'all enjoyed the interview. If y'all actually, we're going to play the song. We're going to actually stay on the line for a little while longer. We're going to chop it up, me and, me and Wise, you know what I'm saying, behind the song while y'all get to enjoy fake friends. And if y'all actually want to call in, I'm about to put the number up real soon. That way, if y'all want to call in and ask some questions, you're more than welcome to. You heard me? Already, again, this is Fake Friends. <laughs> yeah, man, this is motherfucking boy Wise, man. Talk about these fake friends, homie. We all got a man, we've been in our old circle, brother. Yeah. Gotta let him know something about it, man. You know, even though it's all my own friends, man. That's what it is, homeboy. Still got that love for you, man. Don't think it's just you, man. I got myself a little motherfucker too, you know. All I can do is just speak the truth, man. Why? We come from different types of cloth, but we stitched up Ask us who's the man, and the answers get mixed up We say it's love, but this type of love is messed up Cause we in a race and deep down hope the other gets stuck I took one side of the road and he took the other We see each other as enemies, call each other brothers I wanna see you get your money's what I tell him Then turn around and make us up with him as a victim He does the same, it's cold-blooded in this game I walk with a target on my back and fake friends take game he on a mission, I got a vision, our roads are twisted So we gon' bump along the road to get this paper flippin' Don't mind the friend who disappeared for a little while Watch the one that's always headed at you with a smile Cause all these snakes nowadays, they done grew legs And that's the truth when you ask about these fake friends Kindness and 
let the hate define us I'd rather kill them with kindness and let the hate divide us We got a different plan of attack but we both riders I give respect to him because he never folded That's what kept us close while we were growing up and smoking The day came when our roads would turn into a fork You either stayed the same, went for better or got worse So I went on my path and he took his You chose your way after that day it is what it is, I never turn my back, though my path wasn't yours. And with some passing time, we were the same boys. I chose to slow it down, settle down, and start a life. While I would hear you was still riding high up every night. I went in my A, but the day I saw you was when I realized time doesn't heal all wounds. You shook my hand at the next minute you spit on me. But it's still up with me. I just turned the other cheek. Man, you know what? It Half of the people wouldn't get it even if I told you the whole story, homeboy But it's still love, man, no matter what, we're still brothers, bro Let me get a little deeper on this one too, man I know some of y'all feel this motherfucker, man Yeah, yeah Get em. Sometimes blood ain't always the thickest of all them liquids And it's your family who turns their backs on you the quickest Leaves you by yourself to conquer all your demons Then gets offended when you tell them you don't need them Tough love but never feeling the loving part Acting like they're living in a fucking world of hard But it made me the man I am, thank the Lord, amen what it is man got this motherfucking beautiful beat man i gotta speak on something like this man now i'm not immune to this man i'll be a fake friend sometimes too man think about myself before i think about someone else you know that's what it is man i gotta speak the truth right out man Friends, I don't care who you is. You could be uh, well, <laughs> case in point, Donald Trump, and still have fake friends. You heard me? Money don't buy <laughs> real friends. There you go. <laughs> so, why is it just wanted to let you get a little time? You know what I'm saying? If you want to just talk about anything, that anything you want to bring out to the audience and to the world, you know, you you got the you got a platform right now. So, go ahead and let them know about it. All right, cool. So, uh, thank you all for everybody listening, anybody listening right now, and everybody listening right now. Um, it's a beautiful feeling to have fans and people uh, like the music that I'm bringing out and, and, and understand where I'm coming from and what I'm trying to do in a humble manner. You know, I'm hungry as, as the naked guy out there, but you know, I'm going to be honest. And those three key words, hungry, humble, and honest, I, I want to describe me. Um, I want that to, to resonate with the people, to, to really shine out and be like, no, you know what, this dude could be my neighbor, this dude could be my cousin, this dude is, you know, somebody that I can relate to. And, and that's what's going to keep me in check with the fans. That's what, what's going to have the fans be honest with me and be like, hey, man, you know what, you got to do another song that speaks about the heart, that speaks to the soul. So, um, uh, I mean, thank you once again, anybody and everybody listening and, and, and that has an interest in listening to my music, um, soon enough you'll, you'll be able to hear more wise and, and I hope this is just the beginning of a beautiful uh, career. Already, already. And tell them, tell them where they can actually go listen to you at. Okay, so I'm on SoundCloud under Alex, A-L-E-X, uh, Martinez, M, as in Mike T, as in Tony Z, as in Zebra, my MTZ956. That's my SoundCloud page, Alex, MTZ956. Uh, you can catch me on Facebook. Uh, I have live feeds, like uh, we're doing one right now. And, and I have, you know, uh, competition contests. And, and, and I, I contact and talk, I talk to a lot of the fans on my, my, on my Facebook. Uh, Facebook slash WyzeMTZ. W-Y-Z-E-M-T-Z. Um, that's practically 
me and that. I mean, uh, I'm still starting off with this uh, social media, so I don't have a Twitter guy, and I don't have a, uh, uh, that other one, uh, uh, Instagram. Well, I have an Instagram, but I don't know it yet. But, <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it's just, uh, you know, come over here on, on Facebook or, or, you know, follow on SoundCloud. Um, you know, enjoy the music, and, and, and it's coming from somewhere humble. So uh, and I, hope, I hope the crowd and everybody enjoys it. That's what's up. That's what's up. And I, I, if they didn't, I damn sure did. So if I know I did, <laughs> my listeners damn sure did. Cause they, they they enjoy everything that I do on here. Cause I damn sure enjoyed this talk. This talk was actually a very eye opening and very ear opening uh, discussion. So I'm glad we was able to have it again. Wise, we're gonna be in touch. We definitely gonna get some work done. Be definitely you, me, yes, and CAB gonna get dream. some work done. Yes, sir. I mean, I appreciate that. And any door that opens up, you know, I go in with a humble heart and, and, and uh, very grateful to have any opportunity to come to you. So, you know, hey, thanks. Uh, shout out to V-Label, to the V-Label, to uh, Eduardo uh, Vara. Was it, was it the homeboy that got us together? Yeah, oh, yeah. Eduardo? Eduardo, yeah, man. Shout out to him, bro. Uh, Corpus Christi, they're doing, you know, they're, they're making their noise as well. Yeah. Being able to SBC movement, man. Thank you all very much for having me. Uh, it's a blessing. Alrighty, again, that was Laredo. Wise from Laredo, the 956. We just want to give y'all a shout out. Hey, Wise, you take it easy, man. We're definitely going to be in touch, man. We're definitely going to be in touch. Alrighty. So, right now, we're going to keep it going. Right now, we got BOS's radio. We're going to go ahead and play some more underground hits. And you know, you're going to be hearing your boy Wise on BOS's radio every broadcast. So, y'all make sure y'all tune in for that. And if you, hey, Wise, you got any more music, man, send it my way. We're going to get it some play over here, all right? You got it, you got it, big boss, you got it, Mr. E. Already, y'all already so now, yeah, this is BOSS Radio signing off. Everybody enjoy your rest of your night. Why is we going to catch up with you? World, stay bossed up. Jay Smooth! <laughs>
my hair is not short, it's not long. Look at my eyes, they're not weak, but they're strong. Look at my smile, not perfect, but belong. Now look at this face, I'm not sure with some flaws. 